What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the high-grade Shenlong Gundam from New Mobile Report Gundam Wing. The divine dragon that practices martial arts in the Operation Meteor team is nicknamed Nataku aka Neja, the nickname of Wu Fei's deceased wife. It takes the power of 8 runners and a small sticker sheet to summon upon this divine dragon, and despite it being a separate unit, you may feel a sense of familiarity thanks to the reuse of the Sandrocks frame. That said, the outer armor is entirely new. No part of this kit is reused from the high grade Geon Ultron, so you can expect a mostly fresh experience that carries little in the way of issues. The build is also friendly to builders of all skill levels, and it comes together in no time at all. Straight from the box and the high grade after colony, Shen Long Gundam looks stunning. It translates to the proportions of the original line art well, while bearing richer colors to enhance the overall visuals, akin to most traditional Chinese outfits, except the lack of a chrome sheen. Color separation is top notch too, with tiny details like the red forehead piece and the white skirt vents being made up with plastic. This is further evident with the sticker use being isolated to the eyes, head, shoulder, and chest sensors, as well as the eyes for the dragon on the right arm. However, those on the shoulder sensors go over a rounded surface and will never look smooth as a result. It's better to paint that in altogether. Aside from that, seam line coverage on the shoulders and arms and a touch of panel lining will also benefit the overall aesthetics, since it does look plain from afar. You'll also need to paint in the grey on the dragon head and the feet for 100% accuracy, but the high grade after colony Shenlong Gundam has laid the foundation for outstanding visual appeal, and minor touch ups will help push the aesthetics further. But hey, at least the gang's all here. For articulation, the head rolls are a bit limited due to the head and clavicle design, but the chicken neck and rotation are relatively unhindered. The shoulder socket can be tucked out to maximize the shoulder raise to the point where it bangs into the head, while the arms can roll and rotate. Both of the arms have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and ball jointed wrists. But while the left arm can raise perpendicularly, the right arm is restricted by the folding joints. Extending the arm, however, allows it to call the teacher very well with the double bend at the base, while also providing double jointed segments in the middle and lower ends, and rotation at the base and midsection. The dragon head and jaw can flip forward while the yellow teeth can be adjusted. If all that is too confusing for you, the grey shoulder piece can be locked back into the shoulder armor when you're done. Front and side crunches are absolutely astonishing, especially with the moving red armor piece, and the waist joint that allows for further forward leans, and a full waist rotation. All of the skirts can move, and the legs are on a central joint that allows them to drop down. Full front and side splits are achievable. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball jointed ankle guard, very flexible hinge ball jointed feet, with moving toes. Altogether, the articulation on the Shenlong Gundam is ridiculously good, minus the somewhat limited head. But apart from that, Bandai has really pulled out all the sauce for this guy, despite sharing the same frame of the previous Operation Meteor Gundams. Accessories start with the two pairs of holding hands, one pair of the angled Thumbs of Variety, and a pair of relaxed open hands. The former two are for use with the Beam Glaive, with its corresponding effect parts that is shaped like the Guandao Blade. It slides into the hands for use, and its long shaft allows for wild posing options to be possible. It can also be clipped onto the backpack for storage, and adjusted with a swivel. But the connection isn't exactly what I would call solid. Then, we have the Shenlong Shield, that attaches onto the arm with a peg and rotates for adjustment. Standard defense equipment, nothing fancy. Finally, we have the Dragon Fang, the extendable right arm. Deployed by removing the manipulator, flipping out the dragon's head and jaw, and extending the arm, just like the old TV Ultron and Versago kits. 
However, there's also a set of extensions you can use to further extend the reach of the arm. These are attached via a rotary lock, so they are connected solidly and locked into place with little chance of being tucked off. Moreover, they also add extra points of rotation to the already insane arm, so while flexibility has further improved, coordinating the plethora of joints for your ideal pose might be a bit of a headache. The shoulder might also start to sag from the extended arm after a while, for example, after an entire review session. For leftovers, you get a bunch of leftover frame parts that was used on the sand rock, as well as a pair of handles for the heat shuttles. While the frame pieces might not be too useful, you can now steal the leftover blades from the sand rock and make the handles useful, making them into functional weapons. So, after 9 years since the high grade after colony wing gun was introduced, we finally have the whole team in the market. And the high grade after colony Shenlong Gundam is worth every penny, be it to complete the team or as a standalone build. While being based on the frame used since the high grade sand rock, it further improved on the overall mobility thanks to the new frame and armor pieces, while presenting the kit with great aesthetic appeal. Granted, the shoulder stickers and limited head articulation are notable flaws, but still it's not enough to drag the whole package down, since thanks to the well execution of the base gimmicks, it's intrinsically the most fun out of the group. Altogether, the high grade after colony Shenlong Gundam will satisfy the general gunplay community with just about every aspect of it, be it for the nostalgia, the fun, or the team completion. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys, bye bye.